again in standard sum guys this is from stanford maths tournament 2020 and this is basically an infinite sum uh, where denominators are basically the factorials and numerator and there are numbers increasing uh, from 2020 and they are square first of all let me write this in summation notation yeah that will help us to see things in a better way sum from n equals to 0 to infinity and here is 2020 20 plus n square yeah by n factorial is it yeah denominator we have n factorial that means 0 factorial 1 factorial 2 factorial numerator we have 120 square 121 square yeah when one n is 1 120 square n is 220 square and it goes in so we have this sum now how do we uh, get a formula to evaluate this sum we might notice that a similar formula uh, in, in involving <coughs> n factorial uh, comes when we have e to the power x. In this case, we know that the sum is sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of x to the power n by n factorial. Is it? Yes. So now from here, we will try to get this formula. But how will we? So for that, what we can do is, uh, let us try to multiply both sides by x to the power 2020. x to the power 2020. That gives us sum from n equals to 0 to infinity x to the power 2020 plus n by n factorial. Now if we differentiate this, this will go in front. So we have one of the products of 2020 plus n, yeah. So that's our intended way. Now if we different if differentiate both sides, we basically have e to the power x times x to the power 2020 plus e to the power x times 2020 x to the power 2019, yeah. So basically, uh, differentiation of e to the power x and then this expression e to the power x and derivative of this expression so this is actually equals to sum from n equals to 0 to infinity derivative of this expression is uh, 2020 plus n x to the power 2019 plus n <coughs> by uh, this is n factorial is it yes now mm, let us take e to the power x and then x to the power 29 over here as common yeah and that gives us okay let's just take e to the power x common nothing else e to the power x common we have x to the power 2020 plus 2020 x to the power 2019 yeah and yeah the sum is as it is and uh, notice that now what do we need to get is here 2020 plus n squared yeah we need to have also another <coughs> factor of 2020 plus n so for that what we can actually do is we can multiply both sides by x if you multiply both sides by x, this will basically be x to the power 2020 plus n, yeah. So if we differentiate, uh, this comes in front, and so we have this term is squared. For that, we multiply both sides by x, which gives us e to the power x times x to the power 2021 plus 2020 x to the power 2020. Yeah, this is sum from n equals to 0 to infinity yeah and then 2020 plus n x to the power 2020 plus n by n factorial now again let's differentiate both sides yeah if we differentiate both sides so basically again uh, derivative e to the power x is e to the power x itself and then this expression x to the power 2021 plus 2020 x to the power 2020 and now uh, let's try it to the power x itself and now differentiate this 2021 x to the power 2020 
plus 2020 square x to the power 2019 nice this is equals to sum from n equals to 0 to infinity 2020 plus n squared x to the power 2019 plus n by n factorial okay so now at this point i think it's pretty obvious how do we get this result yeah so for this sum now we can basically substitute x as 1 that gives us sum of 2020 plus n whole square by n factorial is it yes so let us substitute x is equals to 1 over here that gives us e times over here it's 1 plus 2020 yeah over here it's 1 plus 2020 plus over here it's e 2021 plus 2020 squared yeah 2020 times 1 plus 2020 squared times 1 yeah nice and this is equals to sum from n equals to 0 to infinity 2020 plus n whole square times 1 by n factorial yeah so now if we sum these things up if we sum uh, the numbers over here uh, let us see what do we get 1 plus 2020 plus 2020 squared 1 plus 2020 plus 2020 squared plus 2021 1 plus 2020 plus 2020 squared plus 2021 yeah and that is mm, that is 4 0 8 4 4 4 2 4 0 8 4 4 4 2 times e is this sum over here sum from n equals to 0 to infinity 2020 plus n whole squared by n factorial so we finally got this sum <laughs> and the answer is not really good eh? it's it's not it's kind of uh, messy and uh, n doesn't look beautiful but yeah this is how we solve and this is kind of a standard method uh, to solve such expressions where we basically have any numbers or number are the cubes are the like fourth powers and numbers are increasing also in denominators we have factorial so i hope you get this and i hope you, all, you can also like manipulate this using integration also yeah also like explore other ways you can manipulate using differentiation integral after this expression to talk about the flow we took it to the power x expression and then like multiply it by some extra, extra powers and then differentiate it to get the expression and at last we substitute x as one this is how we solve such sums hope you got some new insights if you like didn't know about this idea and this is what any standard standard math student problem looks like hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and look forward to seeing the upcoming videos too